I, I always shoot for the top because I always feel like if you have a, a great vision and if you think big, then you're also going to end up big. If you think little, by accident, no one ever has gotten big. You have to have a very clear vision of where you want to go in your career. You cannot get into bodybuilding and think that just by exercising every day, that by accident you're just going to be a world champion. As I said earlier, you have to have a very clear vision and you have to see it in front of you. And then you've got to go and shoot for the stars. The bigger you shoot, the, the further you go. Did I want to be another Reg Park? Did I want to be in London winning the Mr. Universe contest? I saw myself with the trophy in the hand. I saw hundreds of bodybuilders around me looking up at me, idolizing me, and thousands of people up there cheering and uh, standing ovation. That's what I saw. And exactly five years later, with five, six hours of training like a fanatic, I was standing on that stage in London and I won the Mr. Universe contest with the age of 20 as the youngest Mr. Universe ever. That teaches you right away a lesson because the lesson was for me you got to have a clear vision and then go after the vision. Why is that important? Because it brings joy to you every set that I did, every rep that I did, every 500 pounds I lifted, every thousand sit-ups that I did brought me joy because it took me one step closer to turning that vision into reality. So many people don't enjoy their jobs. In America, for instance, in the latest study, it said that 74% of the people in America don't enjoy their jobs. Now imagine, you work all year and all your life and you don't enjoy your job. This is because they didn't have a vision in the first place. That's why I say always to young kids, before you go out after college or before college or whatever, think about it, what you really want to do. Don't listen to your parents, don't listen to your coaches, and to your mentors and all of those things. You can listen to them, but in the end, you have to make the decision. Because I tell you, my parents had no interest in bodybuilding at all. My mother and my father wanted me to have the regular Austrian life. They wanted me to follow my father's footsteps and become a police officer. They wanted me to you know, marry a girl by the name of Heidi and have five kids. So, but that's not the life that I wanted. I wanted to go to America. I wanted to be a world champion in bodybuilding. I wanted to get into movies and be a movie star and all this. They didn't understand that and they were totally against all of that. The, the, the bottom line is if you keep focused and you can see your goal, then it never should be a big problem because remember, everyone, no matter how successful you are, you will have failures. Don't ever fool yourself. I have had many, many failures. Movies that went in the toilet that didn't work well. In my bodybuilding, I lost competitions. And in my personal life, I've had failures. This is what happens. But what makes you a winner is that when you fail, you get up again and you dust yourself off and you keep going towards your goal. In one word, one word only, no. how did a small town boy from Austria become one of the most famous people on earth? Dream. 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 I was poor because I didn't have anything. I had no money, I had no things, we had no TV, we had no refrigerator, we had nothing as kids. But I was rich because I had a dream. I had a dream, I had a dream of becoming uh, the greatest bodybuilder and I had a dream to use bodybuilding as a means to get into films. But I had no idea that it would go as far as it did.